we're still walking our way back to the car along the vast expanse of Lions Woods here. That's where we usually walk over there, but way over on the other side. Lots of deer prints over here. So the deer cross through here too, which is another reason why people think Bigfoot's like these power line trails because game animals use it for easy transport from one place to another. So of course predators stalk them for their meals. It's very pretty, vast expanse of, of course Busby's heading right for the puddle. <laughs> I gotta keep an eye on him or I'll have a muddy little dog to put back in the car and on my lap. Okay, I just thought I would continue to show you the vast area of Lions Woods Forest Preserve where there are deer and coyotes. Here comes one of the little ponds that we passed. A little swampy area. All sorts of things in there. Largest being things like deer and coyote that we know of. Some say perhaps a Bigfoot, at least at one time, may have been in there and came out to walk around. So there's food, and there's water, and there's plenty of cover to stay hidden in the daytime. Who knows what could be out there? There's deer and coyote, who knows what else is out there? The thing that really scares me more than this woods on this side too, um, more than the idea of a Bigfoot are cougars, mountain lions. Uh, they creep me out. <clears throat> they stalk people. And they have been sighted in Illinois recently. Trying to think, I think the, one of the last ones on the news was up in Wisconsin, not too far away, in Brookfield. A cougar came up to somebody's back door and looked in, and they caught it on security camera. They, they creep me out. I would not want to be eaten by a cougar. Lord knows, could be one in there, I suppose. It's doubtful, but it's possible. Anyway, we're coming to the end. I'm gonna be back at our car pretty soon. I'm glad I finally went to that spot, though. I've been wanting to see what that looks like. Okay, bye.